Rockers, rollers, and tech fans, welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. I know some of you are going to go, oh man, gear, and other people are like going, all right, cool gear. It just depends on, I guess, what side of the fence you're on. And by the way, we'd like to especially thank Tech of Tomorrow for making this video possible today. Today's video is brought to you by Tech of Tomorrow. So what is this video? All right, check it out. For those people out there who really give a damn, this is a really cool product by Hughes and Kettner. This is the Grand Meister. Now this thing's badass, man. 36, 15, 5, 1, 0, any watts that you wanna have. All kinds of analog effects are built in. It's totally controllable, 128 different presets that are built in. And there's four channels. And what's really cool about this amp is that you can set all of the presets to whatever channel you want. So if you don't like the rockin' channel, you don't like the super ultra channel, you only like the mellow channel, that's the only channel that you have to use. And you can program everything around it. Now I have to also get the FSM 432 Mark III foot switch. This thing's 199 bucks on top of the 1199 for this amp. And now some of you are gonna go, dude, why are you gonna bring us an unboxing? I'm gonna tell you guys why. I look on the internet and there are a lot of people out there who have this and have done demos over in Europe. Europe. Here in the States, nobody's seen this. I think I honestly believe that I'm actually the first person to get my hands on this. I don't even know if the Tone King guy out there got his hands on this yet. I got an order list. I've been waiting since October for this bad boy. So I basically want to show you guys this app. It's one of my personal favorites. I use it back in my back in my room and stuff where I have my own little personal studio amongst the other stuff. And I really dig this amp. One thing awesomely cool, you can put this thing on like low wattage and just crank up the volume and it still comes out at a moderate volume inside your house. You also have Redbox out. You also have speaker simulation out. So if you want to have like a four by 12 speaker simulation, you can do all that out of the amp. Now, this thing's awesome. So let's jump in. Let's take a closer look at this amp and see really why I'm all excited about it. So let's go. All right, folks, so let's first off, let's take a look at the FSM 432 Mark III. The MIDI board also includes the nine millimeter cable. So let's pop this bad boy open. We don't need a knife or anything for that. Now, this thing is going to be the foot pedal that's going to be totally controlling this amplifier. Controls the channel, controls all the presets, controls everything about my amp. So first off, let's check this up right here. So you guys can see, you can switch through the A, B, C, and D channels, or one, two, three, four, however you want to do it, numbers and numerals, it's up to you. Here, you have your modulation, your tap, your boost. You can also change the different banks and programmable. So if you have all your programs in here, you can change them up and down via these switches. I don't know if you guys know what tap is, but sometimes with delay and stuff, you can hit it go. And your delay will be going, ba ba da ba da and it'll match along with your tap. It's pretty cool. All the cable and everything in there as the box goes tumbling over there is all included in there. So the foot pedal, this, here's the back of the foot pedal. You guys can see the various connections. You have stop box mode, preset mode, your MIDI in and out. Over here, you have controls one and two, and also for power right here. It says 15 volt AC. I do not think I saw a power controller in there 15 volt AC, I don't believe I saw a power connector in there, so I'll have to hook that up and we'll have to see if it requires power. Hopefully it will just work with the amp through the MIDI cable. So stuff that fell out, uh, let's see here. And I guess there was nothing in there. Let me just uh, bounce over here and take a look though real quick. Ah, yep, there is some stuff that fell out. And I'm gonna fly across the table here so you guys can get that in the video and, and, and have fun with that as I fly across the table. So it actually did come with its little programming board here. So. For all the programming or anything, it's all going to be inside of here. How to hook it up, how to use it. That was actually pretty fun, folks. I almost took a tumble across the table, and that would have been very fun for the video, I think. Anyways, you guys could have had fun laughing at my fat ass. That would have been funny. All right, so check it out. So here we have it in front of us. The Grandmeister 36 head. Undigital total recall. Fully programmable tube amp. Like I said before, three 12 AX7 tubes, four EL84s for the power tubes, Four channels, 36 watch digital effects. Oh, like I said before, 128 presets. You also have this thing called power soak, as I was talking about before, where you can lower the wattage on it, crank that up, and still get that really beefed up sound that you can get at really loud volumes. Built-in red box and the soft bag is included. Let's take a knife to the box and let's see what the heck this thing is. So a quick slice there. Hey, quick slice over here. And then a quick slice down center. 
Now, whoa, that was kind of interesting. Uh, cameraman, can you hand me that stuff that went flying out as I made the little incision there? Uh, interesting stuff there. Yeah, uh, as I was, I know it's pretty funny, huh? Okay, so you get this little four month, uh, like 50 gigabyte cobbler account. You can focus on your music, story music, and all that stuff if you want to get this account from Sweetwater. We did get this from Sweetwater. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Matt Adams is our salesperson. He'll always hook you up. He's a cool guy. So here we go. This is more Sweetwater sound, stuff like that. Oh, it's really funny. They have an iLoud, loud and clear little thing in here from uh, IK Multimedia. I actually have that product. I'll be bringing that to you guys very soon as well. Now, usually there's always candy inside of a Sweetwater order. Now, I don't see any in this one whatsoever. I did put a nice little cut, though, down the old thing with the knife there, which means that knife is, however, nice and sharp. So uh, I won't show you guys billing editors, but you guys can see right there. It was uh, regularly supposed to be fourteen ninety nine. We got it for eleven ninety nine. Pretty good deal, I think. So check it out. We look inside. You see the amp. It's inside of its case. It's very well packed. Down below, it looks like Sweetwater included another catalog, like saying, "Hey, buy more, buy more." All right. So now, let me go ahead and uh, pull this out of here, nice and simply. Now down inside of here, we have all the warranty guide. Now, the manual and everything on this is much, much bigger than my Tube Meister. This is the Grand Meister, so there's gonna be a lot of reading here to do as I got to learn how to program this bad boy. All right, so I'm a little bit disappointed, I gotta say, because Sweetwater this time did not give me any dang candy. Now, I know I'm not supposed to eat it, but man, sometimes the candy they send from Sweetwater is really nice, and I didn't get any this time, I'm gonna cry. So all right, check it out. Usually the cable is included in the front here. Like usual, cable is in the front, so there's the cable, yada yada. Then we get this nice carrying case. You guys can see this thing is pretty reasonably sized. I mean, this thing is not a giant size. It's like a little bit suitcase size. It's a little bit heavy. It is heavier than the Tube Meister. That is for damn sure. I'll go ahead and open up these little side pieces. And we shall slide the amp out in its virgin state. So dun 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 dun. All right. Whew. Has a weird smell in there, man. Yeah. Smells weird. All right. So here we go. A little bit of last plastic wrapping here. We're almost there, folks. Almost there, Wilbur. Almost there, Wilbur. All right. Let's pick it up and try to pull this thing off. And man, this thing has a weird smell to it. It smells like glue in a way. But all right then, pa-boom. Let's start off and let's get the camera to refocus and then let's take a look at the back of the unit. All right, folks, so now let's check out the back of the Hughes and Kettner. You guys can see we start over here. We have your MIDI in and out. Then we have the effects loop, line out, and included noise gate. Here is the red box out and your speaker simulator. Over here, all these little red dots right here, when the amp is going, all these light up and they say that your tubes are working perfectly. For your power soak, you can set it to 18 watts, 5 watts, 1 watt, no speaker at all. And if you have your standard speakers, they automatically go from 8 to 16 ohms. It automatically sets it up when you plug it in. And last but not least, you have your plug for obviously your power. Spinning around just one side, you guys see there's a carrying handle on this side. Hughes and Kettner logo, plain and clearly there. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip it around to the front right here. You guys can see, it looks really beautiful right now. Four channels, master, presence, resonance. All your effects and everything are right here. Reverb, treble, mid, bass, volume, gain, boost. You have your clean channel, your quench channel, your lead channel, and your ultra channel. And like I said, all of those can be programmed. Now let's check something out even cooler. Look at how that bad boy lights up in blue. I love the way this amp looks. You guys can see, I'll even link to it. There are a couple cool videos out there already of some demos. I actually want to play around with mine. I've been listening to what you guys have been saying in the videos, how you guys want me to do the clean and all the stuff different. So I'm listening to you. So instead of just bringing you that right now, I want to take my time and bring you guys a lot better video doing that than just doing it on the rush. Nobody else though out there had an unboxing of this product whatsoever. And that's why I thought I'd bring it to you guys. So you guys can see right here, you easily switch between all your channels. And another thing I want to mention that, you know, on a lot of amps, when you go and you do the adjusting of these things, 
it doesn't do much. But on this amp, it really does make a big difference. When you go up here and you adjust the treble knob, adjust the treble knob, excuse me there. When you adjust the treble knob, you can really cleanly hear a difference. Same thing with the mid, the bass. It's an amazing clarity on this amp. Reverb right here on the front, you can have it with almost zero or nothing. And I really wanna mention this folks, you guys can't see this, but these things on here spin so amazingly clean and perfect. You can just tell that the German engineering is just built behind this damn thing. It's so badass. So that's pretty much it, folks. I got the keyboard right here, which you guys saw earlier. I'll go ahead and set that just out here in front of the thing. And you guys saw everything that comes inside with the amp, its case and everything. So that's pretty much it, folks, man. The Grand Meister 36. Coming to market about $11.99. Um, most of the ones that came into stock pretty much sold out. If you go anywhere, they're going to say coming back into stock real soon. They should have some in about two or three weeks. I was lucky to get my hands on one. Rock and roll. I'm very, very stoked. So for me, this amp has everything, man. Four channels, total programmability. All the effects and everything are inside the amp. It's got a noise gate. I mean, seriously, did these guys leave any fucking thing out of this thing? I mean, they really did not. And from all the stuff that I've already seen on the net and looked at the videos, this amp has amazing tones. I can't wait tonight to dig into this thing, start playing it, and then be able to bring you guys a video showing you all the crap that I've learned about this amp. For now, though, this is the unboxing of both the products, the foot switch and the amp. We thank you very much for watching Tech of Tomorrow, and we'll see you guys back here for more rock and tech soon.